we're in Manchester and the IRA exploded the center of the city. Do you think it was a real estate scam? Well, it was uh, horrific, really. I mean, uh, really? I see. I, I just learned about this, so I just wanted. I wrote a song about it, actually, Powder Keg. Is that what that's about? Really? Yeah, but it was a year before it happened, so. Uh, Do you think it, you conjured it up? It was quite weird, really, because what happened was um, they planted this bomb under the the, the uh, massive supermarket building. Um, yeah. Just near it. About five minute walk. Well, being Irish, they, they got it upside down, so <laughs> so it could have been a, a Seven Eleven, what do you call it? What you call it? Nine Eleven or something. So, it, did they warn everybody beforehand, or uh, about two, five, four minutes before? Really? But the police did a marvelous job because me, my sister was on the bus actually going to work. She, she works in the shops and they evacuated everybody, and when it went off, nobody died. Really? But a lot of people here say it's the best thing that happened to the city. <laughs> oh, no, I can't believe that. How <laughs> could it be the best thing? It's like, it's like so, you know. Yeah, destroying any nice old building or something is the best thing. No, it wasn't a nice old building. It was all crap. Uh, but, but that's what the mayor of Manchester said. It was the best thing that happened. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the mayor of New York saying, this is the best thing that's ever happened Yeah. for the architectural uh, Best thing that ever happened for George Bush. <laughs> Certainly. Correct, yeah. I, I know that you've used the analogy of, uh, just as an analogy for your rock and roll band, football teams and rock and roll bands. I'm not a big soccer fan anymore, you know. Really? Is that right? What? Did you, did you, were you uh, disenchanted? Yes. Mm. Just because of, the, what, how come? Well, um, well, they're sort of overpaid, and they're not the, they're not the soccer eye, and you can't you can't stand up and things like that. It's like a, it's not like a show. Yeah, you got to sit down, and uh, you know it's about <clears throat> it's about seventy five dollars to sit down and watch um, people like David Beckham and all that run around. You know, it's not the same. Yeah, a bit, bit like a Red Hot Chili Peppers uh, show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get your nachos, and it's very sedate. Yeah. Well, at what point does rock and roll become the same thing? When you're playing in a hall, and at a certain point when people are sitting down, is it just pointless? Uh, well, not, not, not if um, I can help it, you know. Started to choose where to play, you know, in Britain, anyway. What's the difference between touring in the States and touring here in Europe for you? I don't, I don't, I don't get time to look around. Really. I'm not a tourist. You know, so yeah. You're working. But I've got these half of the, the groups from California. You know that. You must know that. Yeah. You know that. I do. I had an, incl an idea. God bless them again. So uh, there's me, the wife, and. Um, a Manchester lad, and uh, the, the three others, the dudes, as we call them. <laughs> they are from, dudes. Uh, from LA. Uh, mm. Radical. They're radical. No, they're, yeah, they're fantastic. Ca California. Fantastic musicians. In California, about. radical is. All, all American musicians are fantastic, I think. Yeah, yeah. The difference is amazing. Really? What's the what what difference do you see? Like what is exactly? No, as opposed to to the 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 uh, Manchester. Musicians, you know, the, the dedication and um, love for what they do is marvelous. You know. So it's a big difference. All them Manchester scene musicians, they play golf and all that. I, I must be the only Manchester musician who doesn't play golf. To <laughs> chill out. Oh, is that really? Is that true? That's yeah. a fad. Golf. Yeah. I thought golf was Scottish. <laughs> You're you're a Pisces. Yeah. Yeah. Do you identify as a Pisces, or do you Piss think that's it. bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Well, where did you find that out from? Well, I I'm a little interested in star signs, so I I, oh, I what, what star it, sign I are you? I'm a Gemini. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, like Paul McCartney. Sex way out. Not really. 
more just no, you know, it's Gemini. No, sorry, sorry, so Gemini more. Yeah, yeah, like a studier. Exactly. Like to study things. Pisces, though, yeah, like Arthur Lee is a Pisces. Right. Yeah. Brian Jones. <laughs> George Harrison. <laughs> Can't believe this fucking rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> what? George Harrison. You don't like no, him. No, I know, I know what Pisces is, and I know who yeah. Pisces is. Lou Reed's a Pisces. It's just yeah. Same, same birthday. Lou Reed, Pisces. So what's Gemini? Um, Ray Davies, Brian Wilson, <laughs> Bob Dylan. <laughs> the Emperor of Greece. <laughs> yeah, stuff like that. Exactly. <laughs> the third president of America. <laughs> Woodrow uh, Albert. Exactly. Uh, Woodrow <laughs> Fillmore. Gemini. Mil so, Millard yeah, Fillmore. Gemini. So Gemini. I, 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 yeah, Gemini. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah you sort of. Gemini. You look like a Gemini, actually. Thank you. I, I wanted to ask you because you say your wife is uh, your wife's from Germany. Yeah. And I know that your grandfather was in the Battle of Dunkirk. Yeah. yeah. Was at Dunkirk. It wasn't a battle. Can you tell Americans who are young what Dunkirk is? Because I know what it is, but... 1940, when it was all over. It was all over. France was defeated. Belgium was defeated. Yeah. The British Army was at the Channel. Yeah, yeah. And surrounded. And they had to get home, and they went home. But they went home. The Germans stopped, and then the British sent out a flotilla of they fishing vessels. No, my grandfather stopped them. Really? <laughs> that's, why, that's what I was going to ask you. Did... Did Hitler, yeah. because there's those he, he, people say, oh, well, Hitler decided to stop because he liked the British. He wanted to be at peace with the British. Really. Balls. My grandfather came home with um, three SS helmets. and uh, Really? Three SS daggers. <laughs> really? Must be the only one who came home from the British. <laughs> uh. Everybody left everything there. But he came home with three SS daggers. And, uh, wow. He was uh, discharged because he killed SS men. Wow. I'm wondering what singers are your, or people that you, I don't know, that you particularly admire? Singers? Yeah. I'm a bit old school, man. I'm a bit old. Gene Vincent and that. I like a lot of reggae singers. Really? Like who? Like Big Use and like improvisers, really. Yeah. That's kind of where hip hop came from. All that yeah, but I mean, it's been a bit destroyed, hasn't it, really? Yeah. What about glam rock? What do you think about that? Gary Glitter. Glam rock? Um, I was only getting into music at that time. You mean 74, something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the sweets. Yeah. And that was about it, really. What about the... Because I was more into soul at the time, if, if at all. The, you mean early 70s soul or 60s soul? Uh, no, no, northern soul. It came from Detroit and Chicago. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. You, you don't know any... They didn't have any group numbers. It's like a distorted Motown. Yeah. Like Curtis Mayfield. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's what I was more into yeah. at that time. I think uh, it's important not to have a lot of influences in my game. You know. When I'm working on an LP, I don't listen to anything. And I don't. Um, I don't read any interviews, and I don't uh, watch myself on TV or anything like that. But it's, it's funny that you say that you try to divorce yourself from th listening to things while you're recording. Because Neil Young says the same thing about Dylan. He says, I can't listen to Dylan because I, I, I'm too influenced by him and you just have to stay, you know. Well, he's influenced by Dylan. Well, he said that it's too easy to pick up on that. It's like a, well, it's like a, someone with a cold. You know? He's got a bit of a problem, hasn't he? He does. You know, you see... Just get this straight. When, when I was a teenager in 1973, where it was, the, the whole reason of, of, of creating the fall was 